Good afternoon. America's views on the economy and the stock market taking a decisive turn for the worst in our CNBC All America Economic Survey. That's amid growing concerns about the virus and inflation. In fact, you look just 33 percent of the public think now is a good time to invest in stocks. That's the lowest since 2016 and lower than it was during the worst of the pandemic, interestingly enough. Compared to October, Republicans, they've turned sharply negative on the stock market. Democrats, they've grown much more positive. Independents, they follow. Republicans also soured a bit on stocks. And these views on the stocks, they're mirrored in the views on the broader economy, where the outlook has turned also decidedly pessimistic. Take a look at this data. 51% of the public saying they're pessimistic about the current state of the economy and the outlook for the economy. That's the most pessimistic they've been since 2015. Just 22% giving the economy positive marks. Views again now worse than they were in the teeth of the pandemic in the spring. A clear spike there. The virus, crime, immigration, and inflation top the list of concerns by the public. Here's the question. Whether this pessimism translated to less spending by Americans, which you know, guys, many of whom are flush with cash right now. Steve, the interesting point there, I mean, on the comments about whether they should invest in the stock market, I guess we need Mike Santoli with us as well to decide whether that's a contrary indicator uh, or, or whether the correlations should be positive. But on the economy, what, what explains how it's possible to be more bearish than last year, both in the peak of the pandemic and towards the end of last year as well? You know, I think there's a little exasperation with all of this, Wilf. I think there's an idea that maybe this is going to continue. I think there was a sense that, hey, we almost had the ring within our grasp, and then all of a sudden we're back where we were. There's a lot of confusing talk from the government about the pandemic, the efficacy of the vaccine. I think that's part of it. Inflation also looks to be taking a toll out there as well. But, you know, Wilf, on this idea of a contrary indicator, it's an interesting idea if you have information that kind of supports the idea of going against the tide. And I think the idea is that if guys like Waller and others are right that this is a spike and we're going to get control of the virus, get control of inflation, then it makes sense to lean against what the uh, prevailing pessimism is right now. Well, Steve, uh, as for contrary indicators or not, you have just pushed the Dow to a session high. It is currently up 250.0.7 percent. Steve Leesman, thank you. I'm, wi I'm willing to keep. I'm willing. Uh, I'm willing to keep talking on behalf of investors everywhere.